Hi guys, Suze here once again with another Kardashian review. So I just finished Courtney and Kim Take Miami season 3. So this is basically going to be a mini summary like all my other reviews. So this is actually filmed in 2013. So basically... The back of Miami, they had to move their Miami store, which you see at the end of the season, and there is a lot of drama. Now, um, Scott's behavior was incredibly impressive throughout the series until when he goes out drinking, and I do see that that he does have a um alcohol problem, and he did re went into rehab. Um, and he is still trying to fix himself, and I hope that, um, he is okay to this Friday, and one day maybe Courtney and him will actually get back together. But anyways, I love the season because at the end of the season, you actually see, um, the aftermath of what it's like to investigate a, a sister's boyfriend and the after effects, and... I understand as a sibling you want to do what's right for your sister and wanting to do loving, lo loving things for her and wanting to take her over but sometimes um, it's actually not appropriate to get involved into a loved one's um, relationship drama but sometimes it's necessary just to make sure that she's okay and also the kids are involved as well. Um, Another thing that I really liked about this is when um when you when you actually see it you get to see Chapman, Scott's new buddy. He um meets a, he meets up with a vibrant lesbian community and it's really, really interesting to see Scott really getting into that as well. But um I really do like um this season completely because it's saying a very new chapter, and at the end of it, you see that Kim's pregnant with um with little little North, um, and you definitely see a change in her, the offense of what happens at the end of this season, and what's happening the next season of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. I'm very impressed how um they moved into their own home in Miami and I would love to see where the new Dash store is. I want to see a new season of um Tate Miami. I really would like to and also see another season of um Take New York and even the Hamptons, which is from a couple of seasons down the track. So basically I would summarize that this season is pretty pretty good um and it's really good so let me just put it in my little pole right behind me so if you want to go grab all the series obviously that is all on dvd you can get it on itunes or you can also see it other on the series on the other um social media tv show whatever i i i really prefer to buy it or you can just go on voxel and watch it simple and easy as that so just before i end this video guys um with season eight of keeping up with the Kardashians is actually in two parters and i'm thinking about doing the entire season in one or just do it separately i don't know yet i just want you you guys to see what i'm going to do what i am going to do but um i'm going to d decide but what's life as well so just so you are all know all my links are down in the de description of my, of my playlist including my social media links go check them out go subscribe check me out and i'll see you all for another review catch you all soon